New video has been released of three British schoolgirls who ran away last month, apparently to join ISIS. Of the hundreds of Westerners radicalized and recruited by ISIS, their story is among the most shocking because of their young age and now because of missed chances to stop them. The CBC's Neil Cooksall joins me now from Istanbul with the details. Neil? Wendy, the video suggests British and Turkish authorities had 36 hours, a day and a half, to stop the girls before they stepped into Syria. They look like any other young travelers loaded up with backpacks and duffel bags. But these girls are at the center of an international search. Amira Abbase, Shamima Begum and Kadiza Sultana, 15 and 16 years old, told their parents they were going to spend the day together two weeks ago. But Scotland Yard says instead they traveled to Syria to join ISIS. The girls were last spotted in London on January 17th before boarding a flight to Istanbul. Later that same day, they were seen here at Istanbul's largest bus terminal. It was 8.30 in the evening when they first walked into one bus company's lounge. Every few hours, they changed locations, shifting between several different waiting rooms inside the massive terminal. It was 17 hours before their bus left. Their bus trip took 18 hours with several stops along the way and ended in Turkey's southeast, close to the border with Syria. British police say they asked their Turkish counterparts to look for the girls while they were still in Istanbul. The police came and asked to see our CCTV pictures, this bus company official says. They asked if we saw the three girls get off the Istanbul bus. I told the officer we did not see them. The Istanbul terminal has its own police division, but Turkey insists British authorities didn't sound the alarm soon enough. The Turkish deputy prime minister says security officials would have taken the necessary measures had word come earlier from London. The could and should haves will be hashed out in London next week. British Prime Minister David Cameron has called the head of Turkish Airlines, the Turkish ambassador and London authorities to Parliament. Wendy? Thanks so much, Neil. Neil Koksal in Istanbul.